a role, you have to be aware of the role it plays for you. What are the dynamics that people see with me and what is that gonna look like? Because you can't be passive and be a leader. Anticipating what could happen. Anticipating the adverse as well as the positive. So being able to do those things makes you prepared. Especially if you're having to give critical presentations, do um, a critical meeting, you're leading an important initiative, being prepared will make or break kind of like your credibility. So I made up this one. Poor communication is the death of all good intentions. That was good, wasn't it? No. <laughs> I made that up. Um, speaking about these are terms that are familiar with you, the concepts probably make sense on the surface, it's much easier said than done, right? That's the difference between good and great. So what kind of leader do you want to be? Because you can not think about these things in the moment and just see what comes out, or you can start to become more cognizant of things like this, and it makes you a little bit sharper around the edges. People start to be like, how oh, she stands out. What do you think about her? Why does she stand out? So I just want to thank Monica. It was a great workshop, and I look forward to implementing these uh, steps in my daily, um, whether it's at work or personally. So I want to thank her for it. It was a great workshop. I am encouraged and inspired to continue to continue my journey in leadership and being able to inspire women as she's inspired me. I think the topic of authenticity and being who you are and embracing that in your leadership role as a woman is absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you. It's more special and powerful and emboldened to be the leader that you desire to be. With that, thank you very much. <laughs>